Delta Dental of New Mexico as we welcome in Lobo head coach Craig Neal. Coach Neal, um, first off, uh, your impressions overall. What, what did you tell uh, the media post game uh, about the nice contest? Well, I just told them, I said I was proud. It's like I told my guys after the game. I said I thought they played hard. I thought they competed. I thought they played against a really, really good basketball team that uh, we're not there yet. And, you know, we fought hard. We did some little things. We did some good things. And then we did some things that um, we've got to improve on. And, uh, you know, I, I said one thing that hurts us, when you play a team with A.J. Hammonds, who's second team all Big Ten, coming off the bench, and they have seven two Haas, and when O gets in foul trouble, uh, I think with O on the floor, we were a plus. And I think with O off the floor, we, we weren't. And when J.J.'s out and Devin's out and there's some guys out and, and Nick's not ready yet, I think that hurts you. And you can't allow 17 offensive rebounds. I thought our zone was really good. Uh, I thought we were able to close out on shooters, and they didn't shoot as well as they're capable of shooting. Um, but anytime you look at the stats and you do the things we did, and, and um, you know, you, just, you played a top-10 team, and you're on the road, and it's a different game, and uh, just really proud of the way our guys played. It's just that we got to do littler things and more things to, to get them going. But all in all, I was happy how hard they played and they did some things that, that we'll take away from it and learn from it. And one of the things that I was talking earlier about is how Purdue, maybe it's a, a Big Ten team, I mean, how, how hard they play. And I thought we match their energy, right? but we just don't know how to play at that level yet. Right. Team. Well, I mean, you're talking about one guy's second team all Big Ten, and you're talking about Hauser's 7'2", 260, Caleb Swigan, who's the top ten player. Uh, so they've been there. I mean, they, they know what, I mean, they're, they're a good team. I mean, they beat Florida about the same margin, but I think the biggest thing for us is it, it was good for our guys because we competed at a high level for about 34, 35 minutes, and we had some chances. I mean, anytime you can go 59-53 and... You know, A.J. Hammond shoots a jump shot on the other block and it goes all the way over on the other block and gets the rebound. <laughs> you're not going, you're not, yeah. if you can't finish those plays, and, and you know, we got some good minutes. Uh, it was good for Jordan Hunter to get in there. It's good for Anthony to get in there and get some minutes and, and experience. It was good for Nick, but, you know, we're just going to have to do some more things. But I thought we changed up enough. I thought it kept us in his game. I thought we made a really good run in the second half. Um, I think we did some things. Um, positive yeah. and i told the guys i said guys i'm i'm not disappointed i'm really proud of the way you competed and that's all i ask you to do when we're right there coach defensively talk, talking about changing up when you went to that two three zone i really thought that slowed them down offensively inside. it did it did it slowed them down and with O in there O's a, O's a rim protector and we did a nice job then we went three a little bit so we showed them a lot of different looks that we can do but i think my team's growing um you know, I think they're growing in the right direction. I think they're doing things to get better. Um, you know, I think we took some shots that maybe weren't good shots, but but it was a lot more physical than it's ever been. And, uh, you know, one thing I think we, you know, it's different for us is, you know, we were getting hit and bumped and a little physical, and we got to get more physical. We got to get a little bit uh, mature and grow up a little bit in that area. But it was a good, it was good for us to see that and see what it is to play a top 10 team. I thought that your son was terrific tonight, and in particular in the first half. Uh, he was able to create off the dribble, and, right. and he initiated your entire offense there in right. the first half. Yeah, he was good in the first half. I thought he did some things. I just think he kind of ran out of gas. And, you know, they guarded him 94 feet and didn't want him to touch the ball, and I, I understand that. I'm not... I think he's got to get in a little bit better shape, and I think we got to figure out some ways to get him the ball. But, uh, you know, he played good. He played good, and I thought all our guys played good. Roger made some baskets late, and, you know, we got to figure out how to get Tim the ball a little bit more. we got to figure out. But, you know, they're fronting him and giving him a hard time. Yeah. So it, and, and they're big. They're, you know, that's that's the biggest team we're going to play. And, and 12, 12 shot attempts. I mean, you got the ball to him. He just couldn't yeah, do anything. I mean, I, the guys are huge in there. I know. I know. <laughs> but as a coach, you just, yeah. you want you want to get him the ball. And you want to be able to play that way. But I, I, it's just, it's going to be hard for us with, with O only playing 10 minutes for us to beat top teams. It, it just really is. And he's got to learn how not to foul. But other than that, uh, like I said, I told our guys I was really proud of their fight because I thought they fought to the end. I thought they played hard. 
uh, in, a, in a tough place to play. This place is not easy to play in. And, um, you know, it's it's been that way for several, several years, and, and there's a reason why they got a good program. No, you, you're absolutely right. In fact, it's, it's your associate head coach, Chris Harriman, mentioned, you know, his tenure at Nebraska. He, he ranks this right up with Indiana and Michigan State in terms of the difficulty of this environment and coming in here. And I thought, you know, even all the way down to your true freshman, Jordan Hunter, when he had to run the point there, everybody looked pretty composed. Yeah, I thought everybody did a nice job. I, I tried to get him in. I just thought he could make some plays and do some things. Uh, but then again, him and Tim, got they got to make free throws. And Jordan had a chance to make a bonus. And, and you know, Tim, Tim's been doing a good job. And I thought that I'd give Jordan a chance and see if he could come in and make a basket. And, and, you know, he did a nice job guarding and did some good things and made a nice steal. And, you know, so uh, it's just kind of a feel thing, but, but hopefully we'll get better. I don't know you've got a, a nice plan for your guys post game here on this trip. And you're going to go see Tony. Yeah, we're going to go as soon as everybody showers. As soon as everybody showers and, and says everybody, we got a lot of people here. So once everybody uh, gets showered, we'll get out of here and try to go catch try to go catch Tony's game and, and let the guys experience it a little bit and, and uh, let them be college kids. This is pretty cool, though. Like almost 100 people here supporting the Lobos tonight. Yeah, you got a lot of family here. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys from around here. So, you know, it's been really, really good for us uh, recruiting-wise. And, you know, and we're going to keep recruiting this area. So uh, we've had a pretty good record coming up here and playing. Just tonight didn't work out. So, uh, you know, we got some guys around and, and we're able to recruit at a high level up here and get some guys that become really good players. So. Uh, that's big for us. Northern Iowa coming up in a week at home. Yeah, not it doesn't get any easier, guys. You got Northern Iowa, New Mexico State, so uh, doesn't get any easier. But hopefully we'll be ready. All right, Coach. You know, thank you Thanks, very much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it. All right. Bobo basketball coach Craig Neal, your Delta Dental coach's comments brought to you by Delta Dental of New Mexico. Almost 400,000 New Mexicans covered by Delta Dental plans. For more information, log on to deltadentalnm.com. We pause. Back with more from Mackey Arena. Lobos fall to the Purdue Boilermakers, 70-58. You're listening to Lobo Basketball from Learfield Sports. 